Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. For the Lord is faithful. Yes, he is. Glory to God. Thank you, God, for everything you continue to do. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We're just thankful to God for this morning. If you missed our Bible study yesterday, man, it will be uploaded on the DC High website, dchighchurch.com. Man, I'm telling you, we, the Lord had us dive into Genesis chapter 7 and 8, dealing with Noah. Good morning. Good morning. And I'm telling you, you want to get caught up with us and you want to get in line with us because we're going through it and the Lord having us break everything down, line upon line, precept upon precept, and going through the Bible. We are exploring the whole Bible. So I, like I said before, you've been asking God, Lord, I want to go through the whole Bible. I want to understand God. Well, God saying, I mean, I'm opening a door. What you going to do with it? So I invite everybody out to come out and fellowship as in our Bible study. If you're not able to come physically, man, we are streaming live. And if you have questions, we always invite questions. Just ask them. You can send them through the DCI Facebook page. Or you can <clears throat> send it through my personal page. And I'm telling you, we're going to have those questions either answer that study or on the next study. But again, man, come dive in with us. Man, the Lord had us open up Genesis 7 and 8 and diving through, diving through that ark, diving through Noah. Man, we open it up with Noah. Come on now. So, man, dive in with us. When Genesis chapter 7 and 8 just finished up, we just, man, we just, Noah like our best friend right now. That's how much we open up Noah. Noah, we close now. That's how much we open up with Noah. We just went through it and opened that thing up. There's so much more the Bible teaches us. And that's why God says, I'm trying to teach you, but do you have ears to listen? So thank the Lord for going through, man. The study will be uploaded on DC How website, or you can catch it on our Facebook page, man. But let's dive in together. The morning medicine. Good morning. Good morning. Morning medicine. Glory to God. Praise the Lord for the medicine. Man, we need this medicine. Because the Lord is always trying to address something because he wants to do something because he's trying to take something to another place. Who are you trying to take? Me and you. That's why we need the medicine. But I got to deal with my sickness. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter three, a common scripture. But I want to I want to say this thought today uh, pertaining to the scripture. I don't know the Lord put up on my heart this morning. Of course, first dealing with me. Uh, Proverbs, today's prescription, Proverbs chapter three, verse five. And I'm going to stay at verse five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean or do not rely on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely or lean on your own understanding. Man, the Lord really put this scripture up on my heart today, man. I'm, uh, and I'm going to speak some things that he said that he spoke about me this morning, man. He started addressing some things within me. Um, when you look at this scripture, trust in the Lord with all your heart, it's amazing that God starts with this in verse five. He first starts with telling us what we need to do. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Then he says the and, and is a conjunction word, meaning there's two thoughts. And he's trying to combine them. So in other words, he's trying to he's trying to communicate with us that this is first a statement and the and is sometimes where you are. This is where we're at. The and is where we are, but he's trying to tell us what we need to do. <clears throat> so he's saying here, trust in the Lord with all your heart and and conjunction and this is where we are and do not do this. So he's telling us that the very the second part, if I don't learn to do that, it will always fight against the first part. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Why does God emphasize do not lean on your own understanding? Because that's where the trouble comes from. The trouble comes from us of why we can't trust 
with all our heart is because we are plagued with our own understanding. We are plagued with our own understanding and sometimes our own understanding, we still lean on it. We still depend upon it. We still rely upon it. That's why I like another translation says rely instead of lean. Same concept, but this is what God is trying to teach us because we struggle because our own understanding is more influential than we believe. Our own understanding is what we rely on because we've been doing it all our lives. If I've been doing and handling problems or handling issues like this all my life, what do you think you're going to lean on? Because this is what I've, I've, I have seen to be my own truth. And sometimes what I believe to be my own truth, that's what I lean on and that's what I understand to do. So guess what? That's what I do. But God is trying to teach me that my own understanding for me not to lean on it. And that's the struggle with us because every single day <clears throat> we wake up, every single day the Lord allows us to wake up. There's things we're, we're going to face, but how we face them is the question. Do I trust in the Lord with all my heart or do I lean on my own understanding? And God says, and do not, meaning that that's an action word. Follow me now. That's an action word. So when God says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding, he's telling me this is what I got to do in order to trust. So he says, and do not lean, meaning that I have the ability or the capacity to lean on it every day. So in order for me to trust in the Lord with all my heart, God says, and do not lean. In other words, I got to fight against my own understanding because it comes naturally to me. My own understanding becomes naturally to me. And God is trying to teach me, to, as Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Lord, to renew your mind. He says to renew our mind. Well, that's where I get my understanding. And God is saying, I try to, to renew your mind. But the only way I can renew your mind is you deny your own understanding. That you stop leaning on it. You actually have to come to a place where you don't believe your own self. You don't trust yourself anymore. And God is saying, when you come to that place, then you're able to trust me with all your heart. See, some we some some of us we trust in the Lord, but it's not with all our heart. Why is it not with all our heart? Because we're still leaning on some areas of our understanding. And God is trying to get us to a place that we don't lean on our own understanding. Quit trying to understand it. Some people hard for them to believe because they're trying to figure out God. It's hard for them to just believe that Jesus is who he says he is and he's the only way. Some people struggle with that because their own understanding is, man, I got issues. I got issues and I don't want to give them up. I got ways about me that I don't want to give it up. And they know that when you come to Jesus, you got to give those things up. And they don't understand how they can live a life without those things. And on the contrary, they don't understand that those very things is going to end up destroying them. Then, on another note, they don't understand that the Lord is trying to save them. They don't understand some things. And God is trying to get us to a place that we stop leaning on our own mind. That's harder than what we think. Because the God is showing us here that trust in the Lord with all my heart and do not lean, meaning that those things come right now. Like soon as God tells me to trust, my own understanding comes at the same time. Because God's trust has to operate and lean on faith. But the battle is going to be what I've always, what I have always seen. 
He says, by faith and not by sight. The same concept here. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean. Faith and sight. Same concept. The Hebrews 11 is the same concept here that he's trying to break down because I've always been operating by my sight. And the struggle with me is I can't see myself past the situation. That's why I lean on my own understanding because I'm accustomed to my own understanding. And you know what? This is what I'm used to. So I might as well do it. And God is trying to have me uh be transformed and no longer conforming to the world, conforming to my old way of doing things because he's trying to introduce me into a new way of doing things. But until I learn to deny myself that I don't trust myself, that I'll never trust in the Lord with all my heart. So I'll never reap all that God has for me because there's some things I'm not willing to let go now because I'm still stuck in my own understanding. People don't want to believe that God could get them through because that place we've never been. See, sight is places I've always been. I can accredit my sight because you know what? I can remember something about my sight. And trust me when I tell you, when we find ourselves in a situation, I'll always remember my sight by the good times, but I'll, I'll fail to remember how the bad times are what it got me in. I'll fail to remember how I leaned on my own understanding and my own understanding caused me a lot more pain. But I'm telling you, when it comes to decision time, I'll forget that time and I'll remember the times that it, I thought it was good. But I'm missing that every time with God, it's always good. That's why God is trying to bring me to a place to stop trusting myself. I got to come to this place that even though I don't understand, I trust. So when God addresses me with a sin about me, I'll, I'll take it to the bank and cash it. And I'm telling you because we try to understand everything. Well, God, I don't agree with you. It, it's not about you agreeing with him. Do you trust that whatever he's showing you, that is what it is? And if God is showing me that, then why don't I humble myself and come to him with that? But I'm telling you, we'll try to understand to a place and lean on our own understanding. We'll... What God calls an issue of my life, I'll say it's not an issue. What God says that's a habit that I need to get rid of, I'll say, man, you know what now? This habit gets me through. You see what I did? I lean on my own understanding. When a time where God showed me something, I didn't trust him with all my heart because he told me do not lean on it, but I told God this is what I'm going to lean on. God tries to address something in my life, but I'll tell God that's not an issue. See, I did not deny. God says, do not lean on your own understanding. See, I did not do that. I leaned on it. How did I lean on it? Because I told God that's not an issue of an issue. He showed me is an issue. It doesn't matter what I think if it's an issue. If God says it's an issue, do I trust him with all my heart? Or would I lean on my own understanding to think that very thing that he's pointing out is really not an issue? No, if God is telling me that, then it must be an issue, even though I don't see it. Even though that's the thing I think is comfortable, that's getting me through. If God is calling for it, it's not really getting me through. If God is telling me about that relationship, man, guess what? I need, even though I don't see it, I need to believe him what I don't see and trust him that he speak, he knows more than me. Then so if God is calling me to cut that thing off, guess what? I need to cut that thing off. If God is telling me not to go into a place, if God is telling me don't quit my job, even though I hate my job, then I mean, I got to not quit my job. See, I'm just showing us that sometimes we get caught up on our own understanding and our own understanding. We can convince ourselves to not to not trust God. And do not lean on our own understanding. We will convince ourselves to lean on it. That word lean, that word lean, <laughs> uh, in the Hebrew, you could use another word for it. It means support. You know, like lean, you support. You, it kind of makes sense like a crutch. You know, like if you're on crutches, you lean everything on that crutch and that crutch kind of holds up your weight. You use it for support. 
And I, I, I love it how God breaks this down because he's saying this and because this is what we do. He says, do not lean on your own understanding or do not rely or do not uh, support your own understanding, right? And when God speaks this about do not support your own understanding, the issue or the problem is with us is that we would support our own understanding by convincing ourselves that it is good for me to follow it. We will support our own bad. We will support our own ideas. We will support that comfort place. In other words, if God tells me this and then I start thinking about my own understanding, what I'll do is start support my own understanding. Case in point, God tells me to this relationship is unhealthy. Right. God says, you know what? No, this is not the person. This is not this is not the whatever the case may be. And I'll start saying, well, I don't know about that one, man. All the time we've been we've been together so long. Or what about friends that we close to? Ah, uh, man, I've been knowing them all my life. You see what I did? I'm supporting my own understanding instead of supporting what God is saying. That's why I love it that God used that word support when we lean, because I'm more prone to support my own ideas than supporting God ideas. I'm more prone to support my own way of thinking than God's way of thinking. And I'm telling you, that's the battle with us because I can always support my own ideas. I can convince myself that that person don't deserve forgiveness because I'll start supporting it by, man, do you remember what they did to you? Come on, man, you know what they did. And I'll start talking about, and then I'll convince myself with these supporting ideas. And then guess what? I'll start leaning on my own understanding. Therefore, I won't forgive. And if I won't forgive, that means I'm not trusting God with all my heart because there's a part of my heart that's still occupied with unforgiveness. You see how they just fight against each other? And I'm just saying that we support ourselves, that when God says there's an issue with us, we support it by saying, you know what? That's really not an issue or it's really not that serious. Because when I downgrade it or don't think it's that serious of what God is pointing out, guess what I just did? I lean on my own understanding. And trust me when I tell you, when I do that, I'm belittling what God is trying to show me that's really an issue that I don't want to bring to the front, that he's trying to bring to the forefront. God is trying to do this. He told Cain, Cain, look, sin is at your door. Sin is crouching, trying to get in, Cain. If you just come to me, Cain, I can deal with it. But if you don't come to me, Cain, and you lean on your own understanding, it's going to be the death of you. And the Bible says that Cain went out into the field. That means Cain had time to think about it. Cain had time to allow that thing to sit on him. And the Bible says he came to a place where he let that thing sit on him, his own understanding. And what was the what was the manifestation of his own understanding? He leaned on it. He gave himself supporting ideals and said, you know what? No, I need to take Abel out. He's the issue. I'm not the issue. He's the issue. And what ended up happening? He ended up killing his brother. Why? Because he leaned on his own understanding. He convinced himself that that was the way. God said, trust in me, Cain, with all your heart and do not lean on that thought. God said, I know what's on your heart. I know what's in your mind. Don't lean on that thought. Don't allow that thing to convince you. No, trust in me with all your heart. And God is trying to show Cain that was the battle. That was the battle. Man, trust in me with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In other words, Cain, that thought is there, but you can't lean on it. And the only way you cannot lean on it is to trust me with all your heart. That's the action we must do. Okay, God said, trust me with all your heart. But the only way I can do that is to not lean on that, that thought, not lean on that understanding. It's a two-way street where God is trying to show me that I must do. In order to trust with all my heart, I have to rebuke my own understanding and stop trusting me. See, they try to put David on all his armor and all that when he's trying to fight Goliath. They try to clothe David all these things they try to clothe him in the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel. They try to clothe David. But David said, nah, man, I got to trust in the Lord all my heart and I can't lean on all of that. 
And the Bible says he was able to defeat Goliath. Not with their own understanding of putting all that other stuff on. He understood that's all he needed was to trust God with all of his heart. And I'm just telling us that's where we be in a place. God is trying to bring forth some things. Man, if God tells me, look at this. If God tells me that I need, I need to work on my attitude, I'm not trying to argue with God that if I got an attitude problem or not. No, I, if God tells me that I'm not this, if God tells me that he wants me to do this, I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm not trying to lean on my own understanding because sometimes I'm telling y'all when God tells us to move out and stuff, do some things, God tells us he wants to dress some things, we'll start leaning our own understanding and we'll tell God that that's not me or God, uh, no, nah, Lord, mm, I don't think, no, nah, I think you got the wrong person. No, nah, God, no, nah. no, nah. <laughs> you ain't talking to me. That's the evidence of us leaning our own understanding. If God tells me whatever he tells me to do, if God tells me I need to tighten up on my parenting, are you going to argue with God that you're better? Because you can convince yourself, well, I'm a better parent than this person. See what I just did? I justified my understanding by comparing myself to others. No, if God is trying... Look, quit trying to compare yourself to others. Let God deal with you. This is what God is trying to deal with me. He's not, and I can compare myself to others and belittle what God is trying to show me. If God is trying to address a habit that I think is getting me through, then I got to accept the fact that that thing is really not getting me through like I think it's getting me through. If God is trying to address some things that, you know what, hey, you talk too much. God said you need to be quicker to listen. Man, then the question becomes, Lord, help me to control my tongue. If God is telling me to be bold, if God is telling me to, that he wants to use me to do this, use me to do that. If I keep thinking and combating God with my understanding that every time we got to go back to the place, God saying, I tell you to do this and you always come back to me with, oh man, Lord, this is not me. This is not me. This is not me. God says, when is going to get to a place that you deny that? When you don't lean on that no more, that this is not you. God says, no, I'm trying to move you from that place. Because if I've always got to wrestle with that, man, we'll always take a step backwards when I thought we took a step forward. God says, when you're going to come to a place to say, you know what, Lord, I just trust you with all my heart. In other words, it doesn't matter if I think it's not me. I just trust in what you said. And because I trust in what you said, guess what? I'm going to move in what you said. I'm going to stop arguing with you. I'm going to stop leaning on my own understanding. I'm going to stop going back and forth with you. If you tell me that those friends are not a group of friends that I need to be a part of, guess what, God? I, then help me to get, help me to detach myself. If you tell me, God, that place is not a place for me, guess what I'm going to do, God? Help me to detach myself from that because I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. God want us to stop thinking when it comes to him and just start believing more. And I'm telling you a caveat. I'm not saying that we ain't supposed to think, but I'm saying that we think too much. Because we think of our own thoughts and not his thoughts. God wants us to think, but he wants our mind to be renewed so we can think his thoughts and no longer our thoughts. Philippians chapter two said, let that same mind that was in Christ Jesus be in you and me and you. God is trying to have us on that level that we start thinking like him. And stop thinking like ourselves. And the only way is to trust in the Lord with all my heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And do not. Let's stop trusting our own understanding. Man, I know, look, it's the things God addressed about me that I thought, that I thought that I was over. Hear what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, I used to come back, God, with that. I'm telling you right now, it's some things right now that God said, man, look, I said, God, no, nah, I already went through that season. I'm over that. I already went past that. But if God is bringing it back up, if God is bringing it back up, that means he's trying to address it. That means there's still some residue there. There's still some things in areas that God's saying, nah, it didn't it, it, it get cleaned up or I let it back in. If God is trying to trying to address it again, let's stop trying to reason and understand and say, nah, I already went through that. So then I ignore that he's trying to show me that it's not all the way cleaned. See, I could convince myself of supporting ideas, say, nah, I already went through that. Nah, I don't got no pride. Nah, I don't got that. Nah, I'm good with that. And God said, no, you're not good with that. But you keep leaning on your understanding and in your own understanding, you ignore what I'm saying. 
because there's an area in your heart you still ain't gave it all to me because you still arguing with me. You still is the master of what this or that or what I want to address. You still telling me now nah, and you allowing. We become the gods over what we will allow God to address. Come on now. I'm just saying God wants to do a work in us, but he can't do a work if I keep leaning on my own understanding. God says, trust me with all your heart and do not, and do not rely, and do not support your own ideas, and do not support your way of thinking, and do not support your understanding. God says, can I strip my mind and just trust? Not yesterday, but I'm talking about today. Not the day before, but I'm talking about today. Look, I don't know how it's going. I don't know. Look, I, I don't have the answer to everything. But I know who does. But I know the answer is not in my understanding. I know the answer is not in the bo uh, bottom of that bottle. I know the answer is not in whatever habit. I know the answer is not in that bed. I know the answer is not me going off on everybody. I know the answer is not me isolate, isolate myself. Nah. Even when Jesus was up on the mountain in the Garden of Gethsemane. When Jesus was, was the Bible says he was uh, distressed. He was, he was stressed out. He even went to the disciples for prayer. So where in the world do I find myself in a place where I isolate myself? Your own understanding because we've accustomed ourselves to dealing with it by ourselves. We've accustomed ourselves to dealing with it by ourselves. So guess what we do? Our understanding is, you know what? Let me just go into this isolated place and deal with it by myself. God says, no. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be in the assembly. Be with amongst your brethren. Share with your people. Because the answer could be, I put people in your life. I gave you passion after your own heart. I have allowed these things so that they can help you. But you keep leaning on your understanding to think that you can only deal with it like this. Because you've always dealt with it like this. And God says, no, I'm trying to move you to a place that is not just you. You're not. The, God says, man, look, man, I'm telling y'all, we can. The enemy will love for us to isolate ourselves so he can have us by ourselves so that we can just sit in our thoughts. And we just start supporting our thoughts. And God says, man. I could be so deep within my thoughts. I don't know how to get out my thoughts. And those thoughts start becoming good to me because it's my understanding. I'm always going to tell myself that my thoughts are good. But God says, let, let us bring those thoughts to the altar. That's why two is better than one. Notice what he said. He said two is better than one. Why? Because it's been plenty of time for myself and I'm going to get off this mic. It's been plenty of time myself. I had this thought then I go share with a, a friend and they be like, boy, what you thinking? What, what you talking about? And I'll be like, and they'll point something out to me. I'll be like, wow. What was I thinking? And we'll start laughing at my thought. But it's crazy that now it's a joke. But 10 minutes ago, I thought it was the best thing cooking. But I'm just saying, don't get lost to your own understanding. The Bible says, trust and acknowledge, trust, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And that's the fight. Will I choose today to do not lean on? I'm not going to lean on it. But Lord, I'm going to trust you. He says, in order for me to trust with all my heart, I have to not, I have to deny, I have to rebuke, I have to reject my own understanding because I am more willing and more prone to lean on it. No longer will I allow my understanding to support me. God, no, I give my support to you. Y'all be encouraged this morning. Let's not lean. Well, you know what? Let's do the right lean. All right, right lean, lean on God. Okay now, okay now. <laughs> God bless everybody.